The next repair that we're going to look at is the loss of drive, and we've traced the problem to the driven unit. So we're going to replace the driven unit. The driven unit comes in a kit. The cover. The ramps. The base. And the cover. It also comes with the spring, new nut and washer, and three new screws. To begin, we have to take off the drive unit. We do that with a T25 Torx and remove the four screws. Next, we've got three T20 screws on the cover. To remove the pin, we have to relieve the spring pressure by pressing down. The pin will slide out. Next, we reuse the old pin, the tool from General Transmission. We're going to remove the nut, and this is held in place 65 foot-pounds. Remove the nut and the washer, cover, using care not to lose the ball bearings. Assembling, we're going to use the new parts from the kit. We start with the spring. We reuse the ball bearings. We're going to install the new cover. the new washer and nut, for this operation we're going to use the old pin, a tool from General Transmission, and we're going to torque the nut to 65 foot-pounds. Discard the old pin, use the ramps from the kit, the new spring from the kit, and the new pin from the kit. To install the pin, we have to relieve the spring pressure. and reinstall the cover. Next, we install the belt and the drive kit. making sure that we have 
our belt keeper to the outside, our speed screw to the outside. And then we're going to reinstall the T25 bolts using blue Loctite and two and a half foot pounds of torque. And the repair is finished.